this looks crazy. <laughs> we went to the gym today. I went on the treadmill and I did squats and I did uh, arm workouts. And now we're home and we put in a load of laundry and I made some coffee and I'm excited for today. <laughs> hungry so I'm gonna make a salad I made it for the first time yesterday and it was really good so I'm gonna make it again today it's quinoa with some of these Persian cucumbers and a tomato and I got this cheese from 99 cent store which is where I got all my vegan cheese and now it's gone forever and it's very sad um, it's from Good Plant Foods, uh, olive oil, cheese cubes, and Tuscan herb mozzarella. These kind of taste like um, seasoned, like Italian seasoned um, croutons. So they taste really good in the salad. They, they go well with everything. And then I'm gonna cut up an avocado. I didn't put this yesterday, so I'm excited. And then this was also from the 99 cent store. Um, it's this California Ra olive ranch, roasted garlic, Dijon, and rosemary marinade and sauce. I'm gonna put this in. And then we have salt. And then I have pepper and red pepper flakes. And then we have onion and garlic. And so I'm gonna make it all, and I'm excited, and I'm a little hungry. So, yay! <laughs> so I need to show you my empties. I only have four this time, but they're pretty good. But the first one is this Uconic, Uniconic Shield Fixer from Self Beauty, the sample I got at KCON. I used this, it was um, a setting spray. I didn't like this. I don't know, it felt like, it felt like hairspray. It felt like spraying hairspray on my face and it made it crunchy. I didn't, it's not my favorite that I've ever tried. Um, I finished this hand sanitizer from the Creme Shop, which I've had since last DragCon, and it was great. It lasted a really, really long time, and it was really great. I used it all the time. And then the next one is this hand lotion from Vaseline. Let me know if you have any favorite hand lotions that I should try, because I got this because it was the cheapest option, but I don't know if it was the best option. 
it worked. But then I got, it felt really greasy after I used it. So I don't know, I don't know. But this, I finally finished. This is my last full size of this product. I had three in total. I used all three. This is what I used this morning in this smaller bottle. <laughs> so I use it all the time. I still use it all the time. Um, but this is the last of the big size and it's my favorite toner. It's from Bring Green. It's the Tea Tree Sika Soothing Toner. I very much recommend. Hello everyone. I thought I could show you my journal setup so far for my monthly setups and I could show you my progress on my bookshelf and my film shelf and like how things are going and then I'm gonna um set up May right now so you could see how I set up May's pages so here is January's oh. here is February this is how it turned out for March. I thought it was really cute. Here's April's. It's a little hodgepodge, but these are some things from out throughout the month. And then here's the habit tracker for April. I haven't filled out today yet and tomorrow hasn't happened yet. So I haven't really finished April because April ends tomorrow, but <laughs> I haven't read a lot because I finished my book I was reading and I want to go to the library and I haven't been able to go yet but I'm gonna get a bunch of books and hopefully May begins my excessive reading journey for the year because ah, I haven't read a lot. Um, exercise, I like it, could be better, but actually now that we're on the page, I can update for today. So today we actually went to the gym. So I'll fill that in. I didn't read, didn't work. Uh, creating, I did, I vlogged. So I'm gonna put that. I didn't watch a movie. See, I've been lacking, slacking on films too. I'm trying to catch up on my watch later. And so I've been watching a lot of YouTube and haven't made time for movies, but hopefully that changes soon. And then these are the times that I've posted on social media this month. I didn't post anything today. Um, last month I, I said TikTok. And I was like, no, I want it to be more general because TikTok's not like my main focus. So I'm doing all the social media and I think I'll do that again for May. So that's how it's going. And then, oh, let me show you my bookshelf. I showed you this last month. Uh, I read three books so far. Uh, Beyond the Scene is the third one. And then The Woman and Me and The Seven and a Half Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle. Those are the two that I've shown before. Um, Beyond the Scene of course came out last year, but I finally got around to watching all of the QR clips. So I added it for this year. So I do want to read more books coming up and hopefully I can fill this up fast. And then this is how I'm doing with films and TV. Basically I've written in things that I know I want to do, I want to watch soon. And then um, the other ones are the ones, of course, that I have watched already. So I'm excited to keep working on this. And now I will make my May pages. Okay, here's an update on my May pages. I like to leave the title page, page pretty blank because I like to fill it with stuff throughout the month. But I wanted to do bubble letters. <laughs> um, and then I've started building my habit tracker. I'm doing the same that I did last month. So exercising, reading, working, creating films and social media. And then what I did, I'm writing it all in pencil first because the first month I did this, I messed up a lot with pen and I used whiteout and I didn't like how it looked. So I, I want to make sure everything is looking good before I mark it in pen, but I wanted to do cursive this time and I marked like what the month looks like and I'm gonna duplicate that here and then I'm gonna go through and make my weekly spreads as well.
I just finished and I realized I didn't leave a space between these two because I left a space between the title and the month for these and not the middle one. <laughs> I'm, it's so frustrating, but I'm not gonna redo it. I'm just gonna leave it like that. Whatever. <laughs> it's so annoying. And that's why I did it in pencil first so I wouldn't make a mistake and I did I made a mistake. But anyway, that's the habit tracker. There's the title page. And then I'm gonna, I'll probably finish this tomorrow because it's gonna take a little bit to make it all pretty and I'll um, lay out my, my weekly spreads. And then I'll show you this in my next vlog, what it ends up looking like. So this day has been productive and relaxing and fun and I hope you liked coming along on this regular day in my life. I hope that you're having happy days and I have more videos coming. Oh, I didn't even mention, oh my God, Junie's album is coming. I'm so excited. And yes, I'll do reaction videos to all five music videos. I'm so excited. And of course I'll do an unboxing. I'm so excited, like I can't stop. I, I love him. You know that. Um, and I have some really exciting things happening in May and oh my God, July is gonna be crazy, but that's that's gonna be a little bit away. But yeah, exciting things happening. And thank you for watching my vlog and I'll see you soon. Bye.